Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're working on our top-down shooter a little bit more. Sorry for the delay, it has been quite a while since the last one. But today we're going to be adding a bit of weapon switching, a bit of being able to switch between a sniper and a pistol. Uh, hopefully this is a shorter one, but I don't really know. We'll, we'll see in a sec here. So I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to call this OBJ underscore weapons. And I'm going to add an event, add a create event, go to control, drag in some code. And I'm going to say global far weapon. Weapon is equal to one. So we're going to have three weapons. We're going to have weapon one, weapon two, weapon three. But right now it's just set to one. We're going to hit check. And I'm going to add a step event. I'm going to drag in some code. And I'm going to say if keyboard underscore check underscore pressed uh, ord q. Need one more bracket in the back there. Ord q. So if we've pressed the q key um, and then if weapon is equal to three or is not equal to one sorry I'm gonna explain this in a sec here then weapon is equal to three or weapon minus equals one I'm just a mess today else weapon is equal to three so what's going on here well we're gonna be using Q and E to switch between our weapons uh, so what this is doing is when we press Q it's going to check to see if we're on the second or third weapon because if we are that means we want to move left one, we want to move down one. But if we're on weapon one, we want to cycle all the way back to the start. So by pressing Q, we're saying, okay, well, if we're not equal to one, if we're two or three, weapon minus equals one. Else, if we're not, if we're not two or three, we're, we're equal to one, well, then our weapon is equal to three. That means we want to cycle back. So we're going to highlight all this. We're going to copy it and paste it down below. And I'm going to call I'm going to change this to E and I'm going to say if it's not equal to 3 then we plus equal 1 else weapon is equal to 1 so if we press the E key and we want to go right if weapon is 2 or 3 or 1 or 2 sorry then let's add 1 but else if it's 3 well we want to cycle back to the start so I'm going to hit check I'm going to add a draw event I'm going to go to control drag in some code and I'm just going to say draw underscore text. Um, actually, no, let's change this up a bit. I'm going to say if weapon is equal to one, draw underscore text, x, y, um, weapon equipped. So if weapon, let's make weapon one a pistol. Okay. And let's highlight this. I'm going to copy it. Let's go down here. If it's equal to two, then we've equipped the assault rifle. And if it's equal to three, whoops, that's not three. It's e three. There you go. We've equipped the sniper. Okay, so what we're doing here is, well, if weapon's equal to one, then let's tell the user that we've equipped the pistol. If it's equal to two, let's tell the user we've equipped the assault rifle. If it's, if it's equal to three, let's tell them that we've equipped the sniper. Perfect, let's throw this into our game and test it out. I went through that really quick. I don't know, I, someone told me that tutorial was too long. Uh, so I'm, I went way too fast. So I'm gonna go back through that code in a sec here make sure that everyone understands what's going on. Let's test this out really quick. So if I hit Q, you can see, or I hit E, you can see we cycle through. If I hit Q, we cycle through. So that's how we're gonna switch weapons. Now, right now, uh, no matter what we have, it doesn't really affect our game at all. Um, basically, at the moment every time you click it creates a bullet so popping back into weapons really quick just to explain this I've created a global variable weapon and I've set it to 1 
and that way we can access it in any play in any object and I have a keyboard check so if we press Q we want to cycle right through the weapon if we press E we want to cycle sorry if we press Q we want to cycle left through the weapon we press E we're gonna cycle right through the weapon and all I'm doing here is I'm displaying this text based on whatever weapon we have equipped so that way the player knows exactly what's going on so I'm gonna hit check and I'm gonna hit check and in the player in the step event er, yeah in the step event I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say if weapon is equal to one that means a pistol is equal to oops is equal to true so that means we've equipped the pistol we have not made this variable yet but we will in a second and then I'm going to say if weapon is equal to two that means I'm gonna say assault rifle is equal to true <laughs> okay don't okay you know we're just gonna change it to that uh, yeah and then if it's equal to three sniper is equal to true because we want to change the way our bullet behaves based on whatever weapon we're using so we're gonna check that in the player uh, so let's create these variables really quick I'm gonna go back into weapons and I'm just gonna say global of our pistol pistol is equal to false global of our pistol or not pit <laughs> um, assault rifle assault rifle is equal to false global var sniper sniper is equal to false false perfect so we have pistol assault rifle and sniper so let's go into the bullet and what we're just going to say is we're going to add a create event go to control drag in some code and we're going to say if weapon is equal to one then alarm zero is equal to let's make it 35 so alarm zero is basically alarm zero is going to count down from 35 and once it hits zero it's going to run whatever code we give it so in this case we're going to give it some code to destroy the bullet because the pistol doesn't have the same range as a sniper so I'm going to say if weapon is equal to two then alarm zero is equal to this is a machine gun so it goes a little further 55 and then we're just gonna say if it's equal to three then it's equal to 75 it's got quite the range I'm gonna actually change this to 45 and make this 65 okay perfect uh, let's add an event add an alarm zero Go to control drag in some code we're just going to say instance underscore destroy so all that does is that destroys the instance of ourself uh, but it'll only do that if it hasn't hit anything so if it hasn't hit a thing it's going to it's going to destroy itself so i'm going to hit check and i'm going to hit check and i'm going to go back into the player and in the left pressed i'm going to say if weapon is equal to one or whoops that's not or or so if you do two of these lines it's it's a little key right above my shift if you do two of those lines it works as or if weapon is equal to two then we're going to do this sorry if it's equal to three so if it's a pistol or a sniper we're going to make it shoot on click uh which is fine um actually you know what i bet you the sniper should move faster so in this code let's tab all this over a bit so we're a little more organized i'm going to go down here and we're just going to say if weapon is equal to one then do that else b dot speed is equal to 20. we'll just make it move a little faster because it's a sniper perfect so i'm going to hit check i'm going to add an event add a mouse global left button so if we're holding down the left button at all then we want to copy all that code we had earlier 
So go back into your left press. We're going to copy this. Control C, back into left button. And then we're going to say B dot speed is equal to 17. So right in between a sniper and a pistol, which is fine. I know absolutely nothing about guns, so I could be way off by that. If you know a lot, make it realistic, make it however you like. Uh, you know, I'm giving you some of the base code. I want you to turn this game into your own. So I'm going to hit check. I'm going to hit check. Let's go test this out. Let's go see how this works. 10 minutes in, we've done a lot. I'm sorry if it feels rushed. Uh, I'm just testing out. Someone said it was too slow before. So we're doing it faster. And let's just see if what you guys like better. Okay, so right now we have the pistol. And it's working as the machine gun. So is the assault rifle. And so... Okay. So let's go figure out why. Oh, I know why. Go back into player, go to global left button. We have to say if weapon is equal to two, then we can do this. But if it's not equal to two, then we can't. Then we're using a pistol or a sniper, we can't hold down. So let's run it again this time. And this is going to boot up here. So pistol. We can shoot the pistol, change to the assault rifle. We're just blasting fools. And sniper moves a little faster. So if I move down here, pistol goes, destroys at about that point. Assault rifle goes much further, of course. And the sniper moves much faster and goes way further. Uh, so I can move all the way down here. You can see the pistol or the sniper still. Oh, I'm just way off the screen now. And it's still going on. So it's got quite the range on it. You can change that around based on what you want to see in your game. So just remember here, uh, in the bullet, the higher the number, the longer the bullet's going to last. So I actually think I'm going to make this 30. Make this 40. And make this 60. So it's just all a little shorter. But anyways, this was a quick tutorial doing a little bit of weapon switching. In the next one, we're going to get into maybe some ammo and some health. And then we're going to do some enemy AI. So enemies that can shoot at you and you can shoot at them. Maybe some barricades. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you like the faster format today. Um, if you didn't, like if enough people say they like the slower one, I will for sure do that one. Because um, I do feel like the videos work a bit better when they're slower. But you guys might completely disagree. Uh, you might like them fast. So let me know. I will talk to all of you later. It's been a pleasure getting to speak to you. Happy devving.